thousands of retired Israeli military officers have signed an open letter to President Biden urging him to walk away from the nuclear deal his administration has rekindled with Iran. Jerusalem, cor Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live in Tel Aviv with more. Daniel? Hey, good morning, ladies, and good morning, everyone. President Biden has ignored dire warnings from former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Naftali Bennett, and the current Israeli caretaker Prime Minister Yair Lapid not to proceed with this resuscitated nuclear deal. Now, two dozen Israeli generals have also come forward trying to get the president's attention. This is the two-page letter from the Israel Defense Security Forum to President Biden and the special envoy to Iran, Robert Malley. It sounds the alarm, the deal currently being negotiated that was on life support, gives Iran a clear path to nuclear weapons. It includes a sunset clause, easing many of the restrictions on Iran's uranium enrichment in a short two years from now. It also unfreezes tens of billions of dollars immediately, a trillion over the next decade, experts fear Iran will use to destabilize the Middle East. Here's former Brigadier General Amir Avivi, commander of the Gaza Division, and the first to sign the letter to President Biden. This deal legally paves the way for Iran to become a nuclear superpower. The Iranians are going to get tens of billions of dollars that they are going to use to weaponize all the militias around us. And this uh, will bring war on this region. The, the moment Iran will uh, weaponize enough Hezbollah, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, the Houthis, the militias in Iraq, they will feel emboldened enough to attack all the Sunni countries and Israel. This uh, obviously will also affect uh, Europe and the U.S. While President Biden is preparing to arm Iran, Israel is preparing to disarm the regime. On Thursday, Israel's defense minister announced an agreement to purchase four Boeing KC-46 refueling tankers that Israel will need to uh, help its fighter jets strike Iran's nuclear sites. The four tankers come with a price tag of $927 million. The first built by the company in Seattle, set to be delivered to Israel by 2025. Now look, Israel, which is not a party to these nuclear talks, says it will not be bound by any new agreement. Since the negotiations started back up last year, Biden has been criticized for being too eager to make a deal. With reports saying an agreement could be coming any day now, the big question is, can President Biden be persuaded to change course or is it too, too late? Katrina, Allison, back to you. All right, Daniel Cohen, thanks so much. Have a great weekend.